All right, boys and girls. So basically, in week one, we saw a lot of con- continuation from last season with most of these teams, most of these players. And now what I'm going to personally personally do going into week two is I'm going to start to cut my player pool down. I'm going to start to narrow down the, the players that I know for a fact are going to give us the biggest chance, the best chance to accure fantasy points. Because it's very obvious that some quarterbacks, some receivers, some some team schemes can't be trusted fantasy-wise week in and week out. So we're going to narrow it down just a little bit. Um, on top of that, what we're going to do is we're going to narrow down a few games that we want to attack because, like I said, we want to – Cut our player. I'm going to personally cut my player pool down a little bit. I know there's players out there that just want to play a little bit of everybody and fantasize about wide receivers that are never going to get on the on the field. Um, but I'm going to play players that I know are going to get targets. As we as we can already see, there's going to be a lot of teams that they're going to spread their targets to six, seven, eight receivers. You're not winning fantasy like that. I'm going to play quarterbacks and receivers that are locked in and and w- with quarterbacks that are always going to look for their guy. That's the only way you're going to win. Um, for example, I was screaming Godwin last week. Godwin was probably in the winning lineup, but he had a great, he had a great um, productive day. Same thing with Evans, you know, Cup. I had him in almost every, I didn't mean to, I'm, I had him in almost everything. He was spectacular. There's certain players you know are gonna get looks. I'm I, I you can't play everybody in NFL. You can't. You can't. I know they might be one of your favorite wide receivers and they might have ran a forty or they might have did this in college. That shit don't matter now. You're spending your actual money betting on these people and you're getting nothing out of it. Narrow down your nar- narrow down your player pool. And I'm gonna be honest, NFL, you got to do a little bit of research in NFL. You can't just sit on your bed with your thumb up your ass and play players because a name value or what they used to be. You got to really pay attention to what's happening. Um, I'm not here to tell you what you want to hear. I'm here to help you win fantasy. That's it. With all that being said, obviously, Jackson and Mah- and Mahomes and Richardson and Prescott. And Murray, they're all great players. We know that. They're the best players in the league. What we're going to do today, we're going to pick a few games that we want to target. And we're gonna, I'm going to build you a template of how I want you to start looking at these slates. Um, and then we're going to look at players that are in good positions that you know are going to be on the field for snaps. And they're going to get touches or targets. Those are the three words you should be focused on with NFL fantasy. Snaps, touches, targets. Um, a lot of these games are very obvious, but that's fine. Um, <clears throat> you got the Chargers. I'm lying. You got... um. Okay, the Jets game I am interested in, but that's not how I'm going to start my template. Tampa Bay and Detroit, 51 and a half total, absolutely in play. Rams and Cardinals, 47 and a half total, absolutely in play. Bengals and Chiefs, 48 and a half to- um, total. I'm not going to tell you to seek out the highest total game. And just play those players. Obviously, they're going to be popular. But for a reason. That's where the production comes from. I want y'all to worry less <clears throat> about... I want y'all to worry less about um ownership. And I want you to worry more about playing players that are going to give you points to win. Because at the end of the day, you can always get different elsewhere. You know... Um, I, I I know that when you watch these videos, 
they scream ownership for 50 minutes that they're that they're make you know 50 minutes of their video they're scream, screen screaming ownership and then you fade a player and those same people that told that were screaming at you about ownership are on Twitter in first place and you're sitting in your mom's basement with your thumb up your ass because you lost again at fantasy if that if that hit homes with you then make sure you're absolutely listening to me ownership is important yes but you need these players to give you the fantasy points you can always get different elsewhere always remember that all right with all that being said let's start let's do um i really did want to get pieces of the chiefs but the problem with that is that I don't really trust the Bengals. But in a 48 total, the points got to come from somewhere, right? Hold, let's hold off on the Chiefs and the Bengals for two seconds. Let me just see if, there, if there's another another game I could kind of target that might be a little bit. You got the Raiders and the Ravens, 41 and a half. You got the Saints and the Cowboys. Saints and the Cowboys. It's gonna be very it's gonna be a, a popular game. But um I think that's somewhere we could start. Because at the end of the day, I'm building you a template so you can have a blueprint on how to go about this. So let's say we want to focus on Dallas and Cowboys, 46 and a half total, right? Okay. So what do we want from there? Do we want the Saints? quarterback or do we want Prescott is that what we're doing my money will probably go on Prescott now if you wanted to be a little bit different if that's what you wanted to do then you'll go to the Saints quarterback if you wanted to be different that'll that that right there is going to make that lineup a little bit different I don't I don't mind Carr. you want to play Derek Carr I don't mind the 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 upside of playing Carr is his price Prescott is 67. Car is 53. You're saving yourself $1,400. I could do a lot with $1,400. Give me Derek Carr to start this out. So we're already starting a little bit differently. So you got Carr. What's the first thing we're going to do with Carr? Pair him with one of his weapons. Let's actually. Okay. So now you got Carr. You go to his receivers, you got Olave, you got Shahid. All right. What we want to do first, instead of just looking at his fantasy points from last week, let's look at his targets. Five targets, three receptions. So he did all that on three receptions, right? 60 fantasy points on three receptions. That's amazing. $4,400. Cool. Let's go to Olave. Could this could easily went his way also. Two targets. 3.1 fantasy points. 6,600. The reason I'm going to go play Shahid is because of the targets and because of the price. It's a little bit cheaper. I could fit more in this lineup. If you play Olave... Right? That's fine too. He'll probably be lower owning Shahid. But I want I want the I want the price difference. I'll get different elsewhere. So give me Shahid. Also, playing these two guys at their salaries, that allows me to play Lamb if that's something I choose to do. Brandon Cook did have a good game. Seven targets. I'm not used to that. With Brandon Cook, seven targets. He caught four of them, 14 fantasy points. Ten targets. He caught five of them. He didn't get in the end zone. Still had 13 fantasy points. Now, what's the question is? Do you do you run it back with Lamb or do you run it back with Cook? That's a big that's a big price differential. Um. 
I'm inclined to play Lamb because we he's tried and true. Is Cooks gonna have that good of a game again back to back? I don't I don't I, I don't feel it. Just for shits and giggles, let's play Lamb. So now we're looking for a shootout. We're looking for Carr and Shahid and Carr and Alave to go off. You're looking for Prescott to um try to match them, keep them in the game, go crazy to Lamb, go crazy to Cooks. Like I said, I prefer Lamb. If I have if I'm building out the rest of my lineup and I need money and I have to go to Cooks, fine. At least you know he's getting targets. Um There's a, like I said earlier, there's a lot of good plays. I don't need to I don't need to keep going with this. I just wanted the main pieces. You can continue with this. You can continue with Olave if you wanted to. Since you got the quarterback for the for New Orleans. So you got Olave, you got Shahid, you got Lamb. And what I would do next is find a value piece. A one-off from some team somewhere, someone that you know are going to get snaps, someone you're going to that's going to get um, touches or tar- touches if it's a running back, and targets if it's going to be, you know what? Let's just go ahead and find one. I have some in my head, but let's just go ahead and find one. Um, Hold on one second. So I did touch on Jackson, Mahomes, Richardson, all in, all good plays. Prescott, we're we're working with right now. Murray's in, in play. Goff is always in play. Um, Burrow, Burrow in Kansas City. I think I think Cincinnati will be better. I'm scared of them, but I think they I think they will be better. You got Daniels going up against the Giants. Daniels going to be pop. He should be popular. Purdy is always in play. Stafford against Arizona. Um, good game environment. Same thing with Mayfield. Spoke on that a little bit. I like the Jets to be to be better. <clears throat> Herbert against Carolina. I'm not. I, I I'm off of Herbert. Like I fell off of him over the last season, but I like him against Carolina. Trevor Lawrence. I don't know if we need to get to them. I don't know. I don't know if we need to get to him, or I need to get to him against Cleveland. Um, Watson's absolutely off the table. No Geno for me against New England. Pitts, I don't really trust. Daniel Jones over my dead body. The rest of them I don't need to be playing. But you have better options up top. To be honest with you. Um, McCaffrey, you got to be careful with these 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 injured running backs. Could they be they be on death's bed all the way up to to, to game time, and then they go out there and, and and run the ball twenty times? I don't I don't get it. I really don't get it. <laughs> like Mister A Chain Thursday night, oh ankle, oh questionable, oh we don't know. Hour before game. Oh, he's good to go. <clears throat> he's starting and like nothing happened. Yeah, okay. You got to be careful with that also. You got to be careful with all Because that's why. What's his name? That's why when. um Was it Monday Night Football? Hold on. I'm not going to start something and not finish it. That's why. Was it Monday Night Football? When. They asked Jordan Mason, when did you know you were going to start for McCaffrey? And he said Friday night. And then he got he got in trouble by San Francisco for saying that. Because they knew what they was doing. They all know what they'd be doing. But I'm not going to get into that right now. Um, so we got to keep our eye on McCaffrey. If McCaffrey's playing, obviously, he's one of the greatest fantasy producers in NFL and DFS history. What, what, what are you going to do? Fade him? Taylor's. I'm going to find a way to get him in my lineups. Brees Hall is in play. Brees Hall, Brees Hall is, is, is spectacular. I'm not worried about the defense. Etienne, Camaro, Pacheco, Williams, 
all in play. Henry, they did say they brought him not to be the old Derrick Henry. I don't know what that means. I mean, I know what that means, but I I don't want that to seep into my brain. I still want to play Derrick Henry. Um, just just be careful that they're not gonna use him like that. So they said Gibbs in play, Jacobs if he plays, Connor's absolutely in play against the Rams. Walker, you take a shot on. Same thing with White. Stevenson, Jones, Montgomery, Pollard. Pollard is the guy that, you know, makes my spidey senses go off. Why? Uh, it's kind of odd. If you, if, you, if you play, if you into NFL, it's kind of obvious why I like him. I like him because you don't really want to throw in the Jets. So Pollard's going to be, you know, He's going to be important for what Tennessee's going to be trying to do to win that game if they're in a position to win that game or if they're leading that game. You don't want to really throw in the Jets. So I'm looking for Pollard. Pollard is going to be – I'm going to find a way to get him in my lineup. Um, Like I said, cut your player pool down. Focus on Focus on certain game environments. That should be high scoring. And feel free to play players that you feel are in prime positions or that are underpriced. If you remember those tips, that should lead you to the land of righteousness. Let's look at a few running, a few wide receivers. I, and another thing, too, I try to make these videos short. You know, there's there's hour-long videos out there. I'm aware of that. I know most people watch multiple videos like I used to do. So I don't need to make my, my video an hour long either. Um, well, a, a hour long also. But there's also people that feel the type of way when I don't say the player that they, they like. It's okay. I'm not going to mention every player. I'm not going to mention every player in every video. There's going to be people that I like that I don't mention. I'm just giving y'all a, a blueprint, a little bit of a baseline so you could at least have an idea of what you're doing. Um, if, if there's a player that you like and I don't mention them, you can absolutely let me know in the, ch in the, in the chat. It's no problem. It's just, that I'm, I'm not, I'm not going to go over every single player. Jefferson Brown, we'll get back to Chase in a second. Cup, Evans, Adams, Wilson. Rice, Pittman, Cooper, Godwin, Reed, Neighbors if he plays, Metcalf, Pickens, Ridley, McLaurin, Dalbs. All these guys are going to play. Cooks, Kirk. I think Addison is out. <clears throat> you could take a shot on Judy. I'm not a big Jerry Judy guy. Um, Watson, maybe McConkey, Thomas Jr. Those are a couple. Those are a few, a handful of guys that are in my player pool. But remember what we're remember what we're 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 focusing on: game environments. You know, high totals. You know, potential shootouts. We want to we want to narrow this down. I want y'all all to win. I don't need y'all to be all over the place trying to play your favorite player from college, and then you're sitting there Sunday night on Twitter crying. And I'm not talking to anybody specifically. You guys are amazing. You, I, in general, you know what I. This is the the DFS world. You know what I'm saying. You know exactly what I'm talking about. Um. <clears throat> Tight ends. I know people are always interested in tight ends. My theory for tight ends. Don't go too crazy with tight ends. Um, obviously, you're going to want to play. You, you'd want to play Laporta and McBride. Kelsey. Kelsey. I got to rewatch that game. But Kelsey didn't look too great to me at first glance. I never trusted Kittle. 
I always thought Kittle was a fraud. Not a fraud. I just thought that you got to be careful with guys that the media makes seem better than they, they are. And I'm not saying that's Kittle, but I, he just don't move me. I, I'm never thrilled to play him. You feel me? I'm just being honest with you. If, if Kittle is your favorite player from high school or college, don't don't be butt hurt. I'm just telling you guys that I don't feel right playing. If you got your George Kittle poster hanging in your in your in your, on your ceiling, don't be upset. We all have guys that we don't have good experience playing. That's part of DFS. You know what I'm saying? Don't 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 be don't be don't be hurt. I just don't trust Kittle like that. I love to play Laporta if I have the money. McBride, um, Ingram, I played a lot last season. That that first game, I wasn't even mad with my one fantasy points, but I I don't expect that going forward. So I'm gonna give him. I think he I don't I don't I don't think he had that many targets to be honest with you. Four targets. Four targets. I'm gonna give him another shot. I'm I'm not saying. This slate, but I'm gonna give him another shot. Andrews, I don't think so. I mean, Kelsey looked awful. Give me my boy, Mister Likely. Been playing Likely all last season. Won us a ton of money in that first game. Yeah, I have a special. Yeah, give me Likely. Ferguson, eh. Bowers. Bowers is in play. Okonku is in play for me. Um, You could take a shot on Hill, but like I said, I need guys that are going to be in a position. Two targets. And I know it's early. I know it's only game one. You know, targets fluctuate. But you got, if you really, really, really want to play a player, I suggest you go to like PFF. That's a NFL um, fantasy website, and uh, just put in NFL or PFF, and I want you to look at snaps. Right? If you really want to play a player, you're gonna have to do a deep dive. Like, I'm be I'm be so honest. With you. I'm about to just drop a bar for you right now. I have members. I have Patreons. I have channel members that you know I send lineups to daily. I'm gonna do all what I got to do. All my research, you know. To make the best possible lineups. I handle all my lineups, right? If 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 you're thinking that you're gonna watch a video, right? I'm being honest with you. Don't get your panties twisted. If you think you're gonna watch a DFS video and somebody's gonna give you the lineup so you can just plug it in and go win a million dollars, you better go climb up your chimney and dive straight out of that motherfucker. Because that's that's not how this that is not how it's gonna go, and I know that there's people that's gonna make it sound like that, but I'm not here to tell you what you want to hear. I'm here to help you get better at DFS. You feel me? I'm sorry I woke up this morning and chose violence, but the truth will always set you free. I promise you, if you listen to what I'm telling you, you'll start cash. You know how many people send me messages? Hey, bro, since I started listening to you. I've been winning more often. Just take emotion out of it. Listen to what I'm telling you. And you're going to cash more often than not. You can ask my members or you can watch, look at my members in my in my, in my my um, comments in my videos. We've cashed every single day for over a week now. Last night was the first time we didn't cash in football because that game was messy. Whatever. I didn't have woods. That's on me. whoop de whoop Guess what? Still had to take down a WNBA on FanDuel. Still cast WNBA um, DraftKings. Still smashing golf right now, first place. First place and fourth place. First place on FanDuel, fourth place on DraftKings. Like, I put in the work. Like, I, I, it, it, you, you're not going to do research, play somebody, and win a million dollars. But you're putting yourself in a better position to understand of how it's supposed to go. You feel me? That's all I'm trying to convey. You feel me? That's all. You got Carr. You got Shahid. You got Olave. Running it back with Lamb. You got Pollard from Tennessee in a position where they, if they want to win, they're going to have to ride him. Pause. But you know what I mean. Like, 
I just set y'all up for. I just set y'all up for. What's the word I'm looking for? Salvation. Listen. This is just a template. This is just a blueprint on how I want you to look at it. How I want you to slow it down. Tighten up your player pool. And how I want you to go about these slates. Because guess what? If New Orleans and, and, and Dallas is a high scoring game. All of these players will be involved. And you're going to be loving the advice that I gave you. You feel me? All right. I'm about to go to FanDuel in about 20, 25, 30 seconds. If you're new here, welcome. Appreciate you taking time to watch my video. If you're not subscribed, subscribe. Hit the bell. Thumbs up the video. If you're struggling to cash, no problem. I can help you. Check out the Patreon link in the description. Check out the channel memberships right here on YouTube. Super chats are always open. Listen, I'm sorry for the 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 the, the harsh words, but I need you. I like the part of DFS is uh it. it it's mental. It's how it's how you approach your slate. It's how you approach it. Like you can't let Twitter get in your head. You can't let media get in your head. You gotta understand. You know. You gotta understand the game environment. You gotta understand your your the quarterback's favorite targets, and you gotta understand the 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 the, the running backs that are gonna get the touches. You're gonna have you're gonna have teams that spread the ball to a lot of receivers. You're gonna have teams that um, run a lot of running backs. You gotta eliminate those because how does that help you with fantasy? How how does that help you in fantasy? The object of fantasy sports is to score fantasy points more than the next person. You feel me? Tighten up. Let's go to Fanduel. So before we go to Fanduel, I already have some players that. I like it's not a it's not a game stat. It's just a few players that are are in good positions as one offs and I already stuck them in a lineup. Boom. So we got Anthony Richardson. You could run him naked. If you want to throw a receiver with him, have at it. I'm gonna I'm probably gonna run him naked. Um but you could run you could run one of his receivers with him, no problem. Tony Pollard just went over why I like Tony Tony Pollard and Cooper Cup, no Nakua, going up against Arizona. Um, great game environment. Cup is going to be popular. I know that. But when he puts up 20, 30 fantasy points, is it going to matter? You're going to wish you had him. You feel me? Listen, I held y'all long enough. You guys are simply amazing. If I didn't mention your favorite player, just throw it in the chat. Don't, don't. It's all good. We got we got more than enough time to 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 talk about it in the chat. I don't want no problems. I just want to enjoy my Friday and my Saturday. You feel me? I'm gonna go on and get out of here. I'm gonna let y'all get back to doing what it is y'all do on a weekend, Friday, Saturday. You know, I'm gonna go be productive. There should be another video out tonight for MLB, most likely. Once again, I do appreciate y'all taking the time to watch my video. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the bell, thumbs up the video. Patreon is linked in the description. Channel memberships are right here on YouTube. Super chats are always open. You guys are great. Spectacular. Bon voyage. And I'll see you next time. Ciao.